Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5 and 6. Solving questions on senses at work. Question number 1. What is the system which includes the brain and the spinal cord? Circulatory, nervous, muscular, skeletal. It will be nervous, that's right, because we said that the system that has brain, spinal cord, and nerves will be the nervous system. Now with question number two. Tamina is creating a model to show the path that information travels in the nervous system. She has drawn sensory receptors. What should she draw? So let's first see where the sensory receptors are. The sensory receptors are the nerves that are in the sensory organs. So they are connected to what? They are connected to the extended nerves from the spinal cord. So according to this drawing, let's read the four choices and see which one will go uh, right and which one will be the best choice. So she should draw a nerve cell in the brain or she should draw nerves extending from the sensory receptor to the spinal cord or she should connect the sensory receptor to the muscles and the last one she should label the drawing with the words output yes definitely she draw nerves extending from the sensory receptor to the spinal cord just as the drawing here as you can see the sensory receptors which are the nerves in the sensory organs are connected to the extended nerves from the spinal cord. Question number three. Kyla says that the role of the nervous system in the body is to gather information from the environment. Evaluate her answer. This means that Kyla says that the importance of the nervous system is only to gather information from the environment. Is it only for gathering information? Gathering means collecting information. The nervous system only collects information? Well, let's see the choices to see if her statement was right and complete or she needs to add something else. Kyla's st statement is correct and complete. No. Kyla should add that the main organ of the nervous system is the skin. No, that's not the main organ. Kyla should add or should change her statement to say that the role, the importance, the role means the importance of the nervous system is to gather information from the body, not from the environment. No, it gathers information from the body and from the environment. So let's read the last choice. And this one, we hope it's going to be correct. Kyla should add that the nervous system controls our organs and body systems, allowing the body to respond to the changes in the environment. I think you now know that this is the correct answer. Yes, exactly. The, the nervous system control our organs and body system, allowing the body to give a right respond to our environment and to see what it should do now because the information which is processed in our mind or our uh, brain sorry tells our body what to do how to respond how to make a right response so now we can choose number d which is the correct answer here question number four we have four students they write what they know about the sense receptors. We are going to evaluate their answers and see which one is not correct. So we will choose the one that is not correct. So let's see their answers. Julia says sense organs like the ear, mouth and skin all have sense receptors. That's right. Sam says, sense receptors collect information from our environment, and that's right. Miriam says, 
all sense organs are the same they are all the same well that's not right because our eyes is not like our ears is not like our skin they are all different from each other our sense organs are different so the right answer will be number c and let's see what juan says juan says that the sense organs are connected to the nerves and that's also right so the only answer here which is not right is miriam says that all sense are the same and that's not right so that's what we will choose question number five sandy was walking towards her home she saw her mother waving to her and began to run home to greet her the body system that enabled sandy to receive the external signal the external message to see her mother was home is the nervous system muscular system circulatory system or respiratory system i think you know that it's the nervous system because the nervous system is the system that controls all of your action it takes information and messages from your surroundings and from your body then process them in the brain then tell you what to do with the right response answer that's right so here it will be the nervous system question number six why is the brain important to the nervous system number one it is the largest organ in the body number two it processes all of the information that enters the body number c it collects all the sensory stimuli the word stimuli means messages from the environment number d it is responsible for transporting messages around the body the answer here will be because it processes all of the information that enters your body the important role of your brain in the nervous system is that it processes the information collecting information then it will be in the brain to be processed your sensory receptors collect the information then it send it to the brain to be processed then your brain tells your body what exactly to do what is the right decision to do with question number seven which best explains the role of a sense receptor the sense receptor sends signals to the muscles it sends signals to the muscle do you say, do you think this it sends message to or signals to the brain that's right to be processed the sense receptors process information by themselves received from the organs the sense organs actually no because the one who's responsible for processing information is the brain the sense receptor determines which sensory information together and which to ignore actually no they receive all the information from the environment and from our bodies and then send it to the brain let's see the last one the sense receptor changed the sensory changes the sensory information into electrical impulses electrical messages we can say impulses is like the messages which will be sent to the nerves hmm. yes that's right this one is the correct one because yes it changes the sensory information like uh, touching a hot cup or listening to a certain uh, type of music or uh, smelling certain uh, uh, type of food like smelling pizza so it will collect this information and it will send it to the nerves in the form of electrical impulses that's right to be sent to the brain and then processed and the brain will tell us what to do now with the last question my dear students which is question number eight which best describes what happens after the brain receives and process sensory information what best describes what happens after the brain receives and process sensory information so you're now your your brain now have received has received the information and it processed the information to see 
what is the right response to say. So let's see what are the correct answers. The brain decides how the body should respond to the information. The brain deletes the information. The brain commands the sensory receptors to respond. And that's not right for sure. Your brain will never delete the information or tell your sensory receptor to respond. The sensory receptor are only receptors. They receive information, okay? The brain converts, which means changes, the electrical impulses into stimuli, sensory stimuli, and this is also not a correct answer. The only one that you can see here, which is correct, and I know very well that you know it, is that the brain will decide how the body should respond. The brain should tell you what to do. The brain will tell you what to do. So here we have finished our uh, lesson for today, the questions for today. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, make sure that you subscribe to uh, Science in a Nutshell for Upper Juniors and press the ring button so you can get all of the videos um, so you can watch it and see whatever you would like. So have a great day and thanks for watching.